Hey guys, I'm April from Giggle Glitter Graphics and today I am continuing work on my collage journal. I'm going to make some mixed media pieces to go on the inside. We're going to keep it kind of simple today. Just some light crafting. I'm going to move my journal to the side, but I wanted to show it to you in case you haven't seen it. Um, I did assemble this on a previous video. You can find a link to that video down below. There's lots of fun goodies in there. Off to the side you go. And I thought it would be fun to do some mixed media pieces. I just used paper to collage on the outside of that. And I don't do very much mixed media, so this is going to be kind of an experiment. So I thought I'd start with, these are just some coasters, coaster blanks that I got at the thrift store. And I've got some scrap paper here to do some painting on. And I thought I'd start off with a little paint. I grabbed some paints. These are Liquitec Basics. I've had these in my collection for a long time. I think they came in a huge pack of 50 or 80 colors. And these were down in my box O paints. <laughs> so I grabbed out ones that kind of went with the colors on the front of my journal. Keeping things a little cohesive. I did grab a little red as well. I'm not sure I'm gonna use that. And um, let's just go nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna sit these couple to the side. And I thought I would start off with a one color in the background on each of these. So I'm just gonna kind of squash out a little blob here and then use my brush and kind of sketch it around. <laughs> That's a technical term, <laughs> sketch it. And just get some of that color now I'm definitely gonna collage over this, but I thought as a base it might be kind of fun and maybe some of it would show through later. So let me set that one to the side. I don't think I'm gonna clean my brush between each one. I might um, yeah, just do that kind of a thing. And let's do a little of this purple. It's gonna be more intense where I stick the blob down, so. Kind of spread that out this time. Do a little asymmetrical or symmetrical <laughs> corner to corner. There we go. <laughs> it's a really pretty purple. We'll tuck that to the side. Let's try to get some of this paint out of the brush. It's definitely, I think this is going to turn my gold kind of brown, but we'll see. Purple and yellow are, they don't mix very well. That's okay, that's a pretty intense, gosh, that's very intense yellow. <laughs> All right, a little bit of texture there, okay. So now we've got kind of a painted base to start with. So my paint is dry and I'm ready to start layering up some collage on these. I've got, I've got way too much stuff on my table and I'm having trouble deciding today what exactly I'm gonna play with. So let's see, I've got some coffee dyed paper. A piece of this was on my table and this strip of notebook paper. What else do I have over here? I've got, I got these, these are a thrift store find. These little tear off calendars. I thought it might be fun to use some of that. I don't know what month I feel like. What's this month? It's June. Let's grab some June, it's June. Let's think ahead. Let's get a little July action going on as well. There is, reaching across here, there's a little bit of this um, dictionary paper. I have scraps left on my table. I have not cleaned since I've worked on my bee journal, so <laughs> there's a lot of bits and pieces within reach here. And I have some colored index cards. I thought they might be fun to play with, but they're also very bright, so I'm gonna put these to the side for a minute. Ooh, and there's some packing paper. I got all kinds of fun things to play with. So let's build some layers. Got my Uhu glue stick here. Feels like it's getting a little light. Hopefully we've got enough for today. And I'm just gonna start adding some paper on here. Move the paint out of the way. Let's see, I like the hole in the paper. So let's do a little tear, tear. And I can trim up these edges later. We're probably gonna cover up a lot of the paint that is on here. I need some scrap paper. Where's my piece of newspaper? Here we go. So the paint was just to kind of bring some life to that background, but also because I have some transparent materials that I'm gonna get into. 
and I wanted to be able to layer those over the paint and maybe see what happens with that. I don't know. <laughs> so, and also you get a little of that color through these whiter pieces. Should I do kind of like an angle? I think an angle would be fun. Let's slap some glue on there. So I'm just gonna kind of bounce between the three of these and just grab some pieces right off the table here and uh, keep building up some layers. How about a little packing paper? I'm not inking. You could definitely ink all of the edges if you're doing something like this. I'm, I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> I just wanna go wild and collage and I feel like inking is gonna slow me down a bit. I will ink around all the little edges at the end. How about some dictionary paper? So I just picked up, this is all torn up, I picked up some deckle edge rulers and I'm super excited about those. I'll show those to you here in a minute. I think they're off to the side. I'm sure I'm gonna tear something at some point, so <laughs> I will grab them. And I was having a lot of fun with those. How about right there? That sounds good. So you can see I'm just kind of bouncing between the three. You can work on one item at a time with collage work, but sometimes I think it's a little more freeing to, um, let's do that. Let's bounce between the three, kind of use a variety, but also it lets you kind of reuse some of the items that you have on your table. All right, what's next? Build up a little more. Oh, I like that piece there. Let's do that. I've got lights and darks kind of just swapping between everything. So I've got kind of a light, a medium, and a dark there. Light, medium. So let's find something dark to go there that is not quite dark enough. What else do we have? Oh, here's some more packing paper. What if we do another stripe right like that? I like it. Let's do it. Put some glue down. There we go. And we don't have any medium there, so let's do that. All right, looking good. I am going to... Now I've got them all nice and neat, and let's move on to maybe a different kind of medium, because we are mixed media today. I'm not allowed to just stick to paper. That is the challenge. So I've got paint, I've got paper. What about some stencils? I've got my pack of stencils here to the side. This is quite the collection of stencils, and I'm just going to get in there and pick out a couple. A lot of fun patterns in here, but I don't think I want anything like super detailed like that one. I'd like to keep it a little simpler. I kind of like that. Let's go for something a little more geometric. There's so many here. This was a pack that I got off of Amazon. I'll try to remember to link to these down below. I like all the little, oh, but diamond plate kind of look. I like that. A little bit geometric. Uh, there's a good variety in here. There's all kinds of different patterns. I like that one as well. So let's do these. I have grabbed some distress inks. I've got fired brick. I've got seedless preserves and salty ocean. Kind of keeping with the color scheme. I don't have a definite color scheme for this journal. I'm just kind of... There is and there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> so let me swap that out. That's my walnut stain. I like blue and yellow. So let's do a little bit. Dab a little bit on here. Let's see how that looks. I like that. Let's try to get it a little stronger on the brown. That's pretty. We've used that one set that to the side let's swap I guess we're gonna have to do red and then purple let's do that um, there's no rule that says I can oh, I can't repeat a color but I'm trying not to repeat a color I'm trying to create some drastically different pieces by using and using the same techniques <laughs> so 
Let's see. Oh, that red's very intense. Let's see how that looks. That's fun. There's that one. And our seedless. Now I know seedless preserves is very, very strong. It is one of my favorites. Here. Get a jaunty angle. And I'm just kind of, I'm not hitting everything on this stencil. I just want like the suggestion of the pattern. Again, I, I'm going to build and build and build. So more things are going to cover this up. So I'm not too worried about having a ton of stenciling. That's, that's cute. What's next? So I've got a couple options here. I've got washi tape. That might be fun to add a little bit of. So why don't we do that? Now I've got this crazy flat of washi tape. I also got this on Amazon. So there is a lot to pick from. It's a little overwhelming. Some of them are a little weird, but I think that's, that's the perfect, perfect, perfect ones to use for a project like this because they're a little weird. <laughs> And well, if you're going to collage over them, it's not too big a deal. What is this even? I haven't even looked at this one. This one looks cute, actually. It's got um, some houses on it. Of course, it's all stuck. There we go. These little pink houses and I don't know. That's kind of fun. Let's do a piece of that. There is no plan today, folks. This is definitely a whim. I think the only thing I planned ahead is I um, print and cut some stickers on my Cricut and I'm, I think I'm going to grab those next. I've been really into doing some print and cut on the Cricut, especially since I just found out, I guess it's it was three months ago this happened, but they've changed the size. You can now print and cut kind of like larger pieces. And how about some purple here? So now it's closer to full size when I print and cut on the Cricut, and that's pretty exciting. So what do I have here? I've never unrolled this one either. See somebody, like a face? Like a person? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's like kind of like anime characters, and <laughs> why not? Let's do it. I'm going to tear off here. Oh, that girl had some side eye going on. Let's do that and give it a little trim so so yes <laughs> I got distracted I just scrolled um so I'm excited that you can print and cut larger I was doing kind of a workaround to print a full sheet and I should do a video at some point on printing and cutting on the Cricut what about this this looks um like food and some lettering let's see here <laughs> Something's really cute. There we go. Let's go right here with that. I'm gonna keep the little bunny with the strawberry jam. <laughs> These are adorable. They're just I usually pick kind of more traditional styles or patterns and things. And so some of this like anime cutesy stuff is not something I normally work with. But that was the purpose of this collage journal is to be able to use some of these things and enjoy it and smile and have a good time. All right, I am going to circle back now to some paint. This is a unbleached titanium, so it's kind of an off-white paint. And I'm going to, hopefully it's still good. I can get a little bit out of here. There we go. I don't need very much. So I'm just going to get some on my finger. I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to kind of smudge it around on some of these edges. Kind of dot. I'm going to do that on a lot of these. And then go wash my fingers. <laughs> Let's do some dot 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 and then I can come back and uh, smudge smudge smudge. <laughs> there we go. So let's do some that. Obscure and kind of tie together some of these images and, and pieces and things. And bring some more interest in and also it's kind of covering up some of the stuff that maybe is a little weird. <laughs> but we're not the not the little anime bunny creature though. I'm gonna keep that. Alright, a little more on here. Do some up here. There we go. And now I'm going to let that dry. 
I think my paint is dry or dry enough. <laughs> um, I grabbed some stamps. This is a set of stamps. I got these at the thrift store. Um, I'm pretty sure they came from Walmart and they're pen and ink, which I believe is a Walmart brand. And I thought it would be fun to just add a few of these to the, to the cards. And let's see, color wise, let's go back into my distress inks, but let's do something a little bolder. I don't know about black, but we got walnut stain, which is a dark brown. And I'm not sure. I want something that's going to kind of, I'm going to stick with walnut stain for now. Again, we're going to layer more and more and more. So I'm going to grab that. And I like this little curly Q one. So let's do some curly cues. And how about an arrow? That looks like a good spot. And what else do we have here? This little ribbony thing. Eh, sure, why not? I'm just, using, I'm just using my walnut stain distress ink for that. There's a stamp pad that came with this kit and I haven't opened it. It's <laughs> brand new. I don't know how good it is and it's probably just gonna sit there it's it's black ink and I don't use a lot of black ink I, I, mean, I don't even think I've opened this is black soot I think I've used it once said it's too dark and moved on so those add just a little something something I could come back and add some more stamping later but I want to get to the stickers <laughs> I print and cut um, some stickers this is a vinyl sticker paper I'll again try to link to it down below and these are some this is a pure elegant fussy cut set and I went ahead and print and cut these on my Cricut machine and I just love the idea of this crazy almost not quite juvenile but this this wild collage and then these like kind of formal images images I just I don't know the thought the idea of it brought me a lot of joy so I'm going to grab some things off of this. I like this apple. This is the apple. And I'm going to go over the edges a little bit. I could ink these, but I don't think I'm going to. And then I'm just going to trim up anything that hangs over the edge. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these in my journal too. So. If you are wondering, well, this is great, but what am I going to do with these little square collages? Well, I have I have an idea. I have an idea of what I want to do. I have these frames. Let's see. I'll grab a frame. Um, the vine, This vinyl sticker paper, it, I did it on the vinyl plus setting on my Cricut. And it did seem to cut it in a way that it left it on the sheet, which was super nice. I'm not sure what I said it to last time I tried these because it cut them all the way out and I was a little bit bummed. But <laughs> this time I was nice nice and pleasantly surprised that it just cut them right out as stickers and I was, I was happy with that. Can I use that? Maybe a little bit? It's not very much, is it? If I go right here like that. There you go, why not? Every scrap has potential, right? All right, let's go with, what else do I have that's kind of a background? This is fun. Let's do that right here. Now I'm not sure these scraps are gonna have potential. not sure what else I'm going to do these. I might stamp some more. I'm not sure. I'm going to see where the stickers get me. I might just be happy with that. And oh, I have words. I have some words to pull from. That's right. I knew I had come up with something else to kind of be a focal point. Um, I need more on this one here. How about got some flowers? Pretty roses. Let's just stick those right down there in the corner. Now, inking the edge of everything would make it stand out a little more. It's going to be a lot more intense. If you remember, where's my journal? I inked all of these edges, and you can see how everything is very dimensional and jumps out. Where this all kind of blends together, especially when you start putting paint over some of the edges like that. It makes things kind of meld, which I was in the mood for today. I wanted something kind of chill and <laughs> pretty. 
All right, what do we got here that's a little more graphic? Let's do the bird, because that bird brings me joy. I was gonna put it on here, but I'm not sure about that, that blue. Indecision. I'm using a lot of stickers, and that's a choice. I just felt like using a lot of stickers today. There, that's really pretty. I like that one. What else can we do? Got this butterfly. That needs to be used for sure. Um, how about... <laughs> try it here, try it there. It's all a process. How about right there like that. And maybe... Ooh, I don't know which one. I'm going to save that clock. It's really big. How about the key? We'll see the key. Just wanted to kind of have a focal point on each one. Go. I'm covering up that stamp. I mean, it doesn't matter if I cover up the stamp. Let's do that little part way off and I'll just trim that little bit. There we go. Those are super sweet. I like those a lot. Now let's add some words. I gotta reach across here. So these are, I have a new kit in my shop. It's a cluster making kit. And these are the words, they're all inspirational words. And I thought this would be a fun way to use some of these. I had the sheet where I was testing them. And I, I was like, oh, I need to use that sheet up. So <laughs> I am going to, do I wanna cut them out or tear them out? I'm not sure. But let's pick, let's do Perseverance. I'm gonna tear that out, I think. I like the torn edges on the words. I feel like they just give them so much character. But it can be a little tricky tearing them out and not messing up other things on the sheet. So something like that. And then there's some extra add-on words. So you can say like, I am. I have you can make your own sayings and again I will link this it's in my shop I'll put a link down below I think I'm going to do another video on clusters and use this kit and do some kind of advanced techniques now on this I am gonna ink I'm inking so let's grab a little dauber and walnut stain and now I think the words are going to be the last thing I do to these because of the way I want to use them. I can always add some more things later if I really want to add some like buttons or sequin or another type of dimensional element. But at least two of these, I think I'm going to stick with... Um, just a flat. I'm gonna use my fabric tack to put these words down and instead of gluing all of it down flat I am gonna let them I'm just gonna put the glue in the middle and let those have just a touch of dimension since everything else is flat. I might have just contradicted myself but <laughs> this is thinner than a button. <laughs> so, so there is that one. Let's, what do we want to say on this one? Hmm. How about confidence? I'm going to grab the little I have here. And let's just fake it till we make it today. I have confidence. <laughs> Ink these up. And a little fabric tack on the back. There we go. I have I was gonna center that up there we go oh no I, I covered up my little bunny creature <laughs> you can still see his ear all right and one more I have and uh, I'm not sure let's see do we have some shorter words hmm or let's just do one let's just do persistence 
Ooh, confidence, perseverance, mm, resilience. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to center that one right on the top, I think. Let's see. Well, hmm. Okay, so because of what I want to do with this one, I'm going to take that into account and I'm going to put resilience down here because I want to turn this one into a pocket and I was going to grab my cutter and cut a notch out at the top there. So I'm going to put my resilience down at the bottom and my glue is leaking. There we go. All right, so this one I'd like to turn into a pocket. So I'm going to flip that over onto the back. And we don't really need to do anything with the back since it's going to be a pocket. And I'm going to try to find the center. That would be at two inches. And I have a one and a half inch circle punch. So I'm gonna kind of mark out. I just wanna make sure that this is basically centered. <laughs> and it's easier if I put a mark. I have a habit of making really off centered and it just drives me crazy. <laughs> so, um, so I'm just gonna make a couple more marks. <laughs> one, two, three. And that'll give me a little something to go off of. And I'm gonna open this up. I think it's a one and a half inch circle pin. Oh, it must be bigger than that. Is this a two inch circle punch? Oh, it says two in there. It must be a two inch circle punch. All right, well, this will get me in the ballpark. And let's do, whoop, that was pretty thick. There we go. And I'm gonna grab my ink again. And then I'm not sure if this is gonna be a pocket on a page or on a tag or something like that, but I just knew it would be an adorable pocket in my collage journal. Let's grab the book really quickly. Let's see if there's an obvious place it should go. Put a clip on here just to kind of keep it shut. But just even on a page like that, I think that's gonna look great. I could add some stitching around this on the sewing machine. I could definitely with the mixed media or add a little bit of fabric or something like that. But for now, I think I'm gonna call it quits on this one. And then for these other two, I wanted to make like a little, a little book out of them. I thought it would be so sweet. So I'm gonna need some ribbon. All right, so I grabbed some blue chiffon. I think it's chiffon ribbon. And this is new, I haven't even used that yet. I'm gonna make this into a book. So I want it to open up. And I wanted to use a ribbon that I knew I could kind of tie into a bow. So these are gonna kind of sandwich together, but now I'm realizing how plain the back is. So I grabbed some stamps and I thought I would do a little stamping on the back side. Just a kind of, what's this one? Thinking of you just to kind of bring a little fun and interest in. So let's start with, let's see, flip both of those over. And let's just grab, I like this little cursive alphabet stamp. This is a little easier with this tiny, go this way. These little stamps, little stamp pads. I don't know just build up a little bit of interest on the back here using a couple different colors. Um, let's go straight on on that one like that. That's fun. And there's some flowers here. So let's do that. And then I grabbed some of these big flower stamps. I love, these are some of my favorite thrift store stamps that I have found, these rubber, I don't, I don't know what, what the technical term for this type of stamp is, <laughs> but I like them, I like them a lot. And let's do some purple seedless preserves. Some more flowers here. Just kind of building up background. And how about some blue? Let's peel this one off and grab oh, the tulip. Oh, I've never peeled the tulip off of here. I think maybe 
somebody donated these because they were kind of stuck to the thing, but they came off eventually. I'm not really sure <laughs> what happens to these over a long period of time, but they seem to get kind of stuck to the plastic. I think I have another set that I was having trouble peeling off at all, and I'm going to have to try warming them up. We'll have to let you know how that goes. Um, how about I have a little blue flower that way? That's fine. And one more time. Let's go that way. All right. Just a little interest for the outside. And then I'm going to use this ribbon. And I think I might want a second ribbon to kind of zhuzh it up, but let's attach this one first. So here we go. I'm actually second guessing this ribbon. Let me take a look at my stash again real quick. So I grabbed this kind of cream ribbon and I'm going to stamp some words on it. I'm going to give it a little bit of character, I think. It might be easier to do that once I've got it attached to this. So I'm going to want enough length that this will wrap around and then I can kind of tie it and secure it. It's probably a little long. Let's just go. That side is all twisted up and it's giving me fits. Here we go. I'm not sure if I need to tie it in a bow, but I'd like to tie it somewhat. This end here. Come on, scissors. All right. And I'm just gonna use a little fabric tack to attach these and make it into a little book. So I'm gonna want it to be fairly centered, flattened out. And then I'm gonna run just a little bit of glue right along the middle. I'm gonna try to kind of smear it down so it's not, use my finger. There we go. Hopefully that won't bleed through a whole bunch. And then flip it over and do the other side. And then I've got, I think we're gonna try and see, this is a really small detailed stamp and this is a pretty textured piece of ribbon, but let's just see. I mean, I don't hate it. We'll just go right like that. That's kind of peters out, but that's fine. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And that was with my black soot. See, I used the black ink. I figured that was the only way to get it to show up really well. And now I've got this cute little book I can tuck into a pocket. I like it, you open it up, there's surprise collage inside. And then I can close it, give it a little tie. Right like that. And tuck that into a pocket on my journal. And I think that is so sweet. And it came out <laughs> just how I wanted it to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this gave you some inspiration and has inspired you to try some mixed media collage. I really had a lot of fun with this project. I definitely am going to want to do some more of this. This is just going to be a playground of a journal. I know it. If you are interested in any of the principles that I used or some of the supplies that I used, I will link everything I can down below in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.